What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video, and today I've got a wishlist for you guys. So a lot of information has been released about NBA 2K19, but so far they haven't released gameplay, and there's some information that they still haven't covered yet, so I'm going to go over 10 things that I think they should at least announce that they're going to do, or just do it when the game comes out. So really quickly before I start this top 10 list, I have an honorable mention and so I think 2K should add back to the game the feature where you can preview your haircut because they had that in NBA 2K17 and it was so much better where you can preview it and you can change it in the My Player Lab. But now you have to walk into the barbershop, sometimes you even get a cutscene, and then you're going to end up spending VC on it which they didn't have last year. And then if you don't like it, you have to spend more VC to change it, instead of just being able to look through the haircuts like 2K17. Okay, so before I start the top 10 list, this list is not in any order or anything. So for number 10, one of the main things that I want in my park are new parks. Because in NBA 2K18, they had the neighborhood, which was actually a really good idea, they just didn't implement it in the right way. It would have been much better if you were still able to access your clothes through the My Player Lab and stuff like that and where the My Player Lab doesn't take 10 million years to load up. In NBA 2K17, it was much better because you can just change your clothes, your jump shot, all that stuff while you're on the spot. Like I get that it's a cool feature that you have a closet and everything in your court. They should keep that in the game. They just need to add it so that you can also change your stuff outside of your court. And along with that, the parks were just very dull. Like, it could have been so much better. Even if they had no traveling between parks in NBA 2K18, they could have made it so that the parks actually had a theme. Like, now they just have the logo for the affiliation, but on the sunset courts, they could have actually made beach balls or palm trees or something like that. Like, I get that the parks are close together, so that would have been much harder, especially to make like a factory for Rivet but they could have at least added some things to make the themes of the park fit in. So for number 9 on my list, 2K should tone down contested shots. Like they said they were going to do this, but I don't know if I should believe them or not because they say that every year, but I actually want to see contested shots toned down a ton because it's just annoying when you play perfect defense and you know you played perfect defense and then somebody makes a shot. Like I get it if you're a pure sharpshooter or a pure shot creator and you have the dead eye badges and you could be going up against a bad defender too. But if somebody plays good defense and their shot contest rating is like average, like in the 70s, a shot should not hit most of the time. So for number eight on my list, I hope that there's no animation glitch in the game. Like they need to make it so that once the game drops, they already have the patch for the animation glitch because in NBA 2K17 and in NBA 2K18, there were animation glitches in both games, but they knew how to patch it. Like in NBA 2K17, they patched it midway through the year. So I don't get why in NBA 2K18, they still had that problem. And I really hope they don't have it in NBA 2K19 because it's just annoying to guard stretch bigs who can dribble like guards. Sometimes you don't even know if people have the animation glitch so you don't know how to guard them. It's just annoying, like I've never done the animation glitch myself, but if they have it in the game this year, I might have to do it because if you don't do it, you're basically at an unfair advantage, especially if you're a big man. So for number 7 on my wish list, I don't play my career that much unless I'm grinding badges or something like that which I only really do at the beginning of the year because it's kind of hard to play park when you don't have badges because badges mean so much to the game. But anyway, the one thing I hope they add are skippable cutscenes in my career. Like, if you're watching a cutscene for the first time, I, I get it. Like, we should still be able to skip it, but if it's the first time, I get it. But then once you make a second player, that should not be a problem. Like, you should just be able to skip any time because you've already seen it so I don't get why they don't have skippable cutscenes in the game by now. So for number 6 on this list they actually did this in NBA 2K18 I hope they stick with it in NBA 19 and that is taking away park cards. I was happy to find out there were no park cards in NBA 2K18 because in NBA 2K17 I didn't really like park cards like I'd never use them unless I used them by accident but they're pretty useless like they just cater to bums and it's I don't know, park cards are just dumb. For number 5 on the wish list, I have that 2K will tone down microtransactions. I don't really know if they're going to do this, but I feel like every single year it costs more to make a player. I don't remember how much it was in NBA 2K17 to max out a player to 85, 86 overall, whatever it was in that game, but in NBA 2K18, you had to spend like... A ton of VC. I don't know if it's 150,000 or 250,000, but either way, 
That's a ton of VC. Like, once you get your player, why do they start out bad? They start out in the NBA in my career, and it's not like you're going to get signed to a team if you're a 60 overall. So I feel like either all players should start 80 overall, or it should just be less VC to upgrade to 80 overall or 85 or whatever they make it. For number four on the wish list, they actually had this in NBA 2K17. And I'm not sure why they took it out, but anyway, they should add it so that once you get a badge in the game, you know. Like, I know they added the badge progression and all that stuff, which is really good, but when you're grinding for one specific badge, you don't know whether you got it in-game or not. Like, sometimes, say you have a gold badge and you want to get it to Hall of Fame, you don't know how many more shots you need to get it. Like, if you're playing on 12-minute quarters or whatever... You're just going to be shooting, 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 when in reality, you already have enough rep points for the badge. I hope they add that feature back, because I think that was a pretty good feature in the game. So I don't think they're going to add this back, but number three on my wish list is to make the rep like NBA 2K17 was, because I just liked it when it was literally one rep bar, no matter how many players you make. Like in NBA 2K17, I had so many players. I had a glass cleaner, I had a stretch big, I had a slasher, I had a lockdown, I had a shot creator, I had a point forward. I've had maybe even more that I don't even remember, I don't know, but anyway, it's just more fun to have so many players, and it's kind of demotivating to make a ton of players when rep is based on a player. If I make a new player, I'm going to have to start with my rep, or overall, or whatever you want to call it, all the way down. So in NBA 2K17, I would make a player when I had enough VC to upgrade him to 85 overall, or whatever it was, but then you don't really focus on overall, you just focus on rep. But in NBA 2K18, you kind of got to focus on overall because that's what the rep is. For number two on the wish list, this is something that a bunch of people probably want 2K to add back to the game. And that thing is mascots. I don't know why they took them out of the rep rewards. The rep rewards this year were bad. Like in NBA 2K16, I played that game for fun. I got to like all star four or five. NBA 2K17, I got to superstar one. But NBA 2K18, like when it dropped, I was thinking about grinding for a mascot, but then like we found out there were no mascots in the game. I don't know why they took them out because everyone loves them. Everyone loves to grind for them. And ultimately, I think that would make 2K more money because there would be more people grinding, more people buying VC and stuff like that. So I think it would make them more money and it's a fan favorite item. And for number one on this list, 2K needs to fix the God Next VIP because it's so messed up. Like one time I was literally waiting to play a game and a 97 overall just kicked me off like I was on a streak too so if you're waiting for a game and you're on the squad spot they shouldn't be able to take you off unless it's a whole squad of 96's and if you're on the left they should be able to take you off that makes sense because they got next and if you're on the left it's not like you've played a game but I was on a streak with randoms just having fun and then the guy just kicks me off the spot so they need to fix it like God Next VIP it's pretty good because when you grind you can actually get in games and stuff like that so it's something to grind for but they should not make it so that you can literally take people off streaks like that's kind of crazy so that was everything in my nba 2k19 wish list drop a like if you enjoyed and let me know what things you guys want to see in nba 2k19 and also if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe for NBA 2K18, I haven't been uploading that much, but I'm going to try to start uploading more. And especially with NBA 2K19 on the way, once that drops, I'm going to try to upload three to four times a week. So every other day, and then from there, once I get used to that, I'm going to try to upload daily for NBA 2K19. Also, if you guys want to see my last video, make sure to click right here. And if you guys want to see a video that YouTube recommends to you, click right here. It's been King Josh, and I'm out. Peace.